for a week. So uh, I was in the States for three weeks. That was when I was on the aerial Hawaii show and my face was like that. I, I never saw that. Why was your face so swollen? Because I was about 86 kilo, 87 kilo, big fatty. Did you used to let yourself go up and down in weight in between fights? Will do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I know it's a nightmare, isn't it? It's fight, I'm going to have to rein in because last time when I fought, when I <laughs> took the match, uh, I weighed in at 70. I went into the fight at 77, 78. And then by the next Sunday, I was 89.6 kilo. If there's one piece of advice I could give you, Paddy, and of course you're going to forge your own path, but it's that, to be honest. When I look back at my career now, I say to my wife all the time, I say, fuck, you know, yeah, I, I never missed weight. But still, I used to let myself get too heavy in between fights, with a little bit of partying here and there as well. You do when you're younger, but as you get older, you mature. But the the, the, the ballooning of the weight, the yo-yo and going up and down, it's not good for you. It's not good for a long career. And then a lot of the time, the camp just becomes about making fucking weight as well, when it should be about beating them in the, the best possible fashion, not trying to fucking go out there and run five miles every morning because you're a fat bastard. So that's exactly what my last few camps of featherweight was. Uh, and that's yeah. why I had to move up because, like, when I fought Juliana Rose, I had a cut 8.4 kilo overnight. And that was the one when I, I was I vomited in the cage after a walk. You know what I mean? So, then, when did then, you fight Julian? I'm just looking at it. So, that was back in 2016. He's a good fighter, man. Julian Rose. How did that fight go down? I never saw it, so forgive my ignorance. But how did you feel with him in there? I remember a lot of journalists after the fight thought that I lost, to be honest. But, I won the first three rounds with ease, and then, as I say, where I cut that much weight, I just gassed bad in the fourth and fifth, and I just survived, to be honest. I was just moving away, shooting in for takedowns, trying to, trying to survive, because I can remember sitting in the corner going to Paul and Ellis, like, I can't feel my arms and my legs. Like, I don't know what's going on here. And he was like, what you'd expect? You was, was 84 key four weeks ago. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> that's 